Here we explain how Wokoko works, starting with the parkour jumping example. Parkour jumping requires the humanoid to jump over stones one by one with desired foot contacts. For example, here on the second stone, the humanoid is commanded to have the right foot on the stone with the left foot in the air while maintaining the upper body posture. And for this stone, we define a contact goal specifying the desired foot contact. Then, we refer to other task requirements, such as maintaining the upper body posture, as the task goal. The desired upper body postures are manually crafted, including the hug one and the relax one. These two goals constitute a contact stage associated with this stone. Based on such definition, the whole parkour jumping task can be decomposed to different stages with contact goals and task goals. Wokoko is proposed to solve such tasks with a contact sequence that can be decomposed to multiple contact stages. The robot is expected to fulfill these contact stages one by one. If the contact goals are defined on the feet, we can learn parkour jumping policies. If the contact goals are defined on the hands, box loco manipulation can be learned. Of course, we can define the contact goals on all four end effectors, which leads to successful learning of clap and tap dancing, and cliffside climbing. And what does Wokoko offer? First, it offers task agnostic reward terms, to learn policies via task decomposition, and for each of these challenging tasks, only one or two very intuitive, task-related terms need to be added. Wokoko also provides a task agnostic training pipeline for sim to real transfer, including domain randomization, training curriculum, and regularization rewards. Moreover, Wokoko is not limited to humanoids. In this work, we also apply it to a 22 dwarf dinosaur robot, to learn ball loco manipulation with desired end effectors. We put more results on our website. Thank you for watching.